In this video, we will explain in detail the operation and failures of the block type thermostatic expansion valve in automotive air conditioning systems. This component is crucial as it regulates the refrigerant flow to the evaporator, ensuring efficient cooling and the necessary pressures for optimal system operation. Let's start by saying that the block type expansion valve, in addition to lowering the pressure and temperature required by the system, adjusts the refrigerant flow based on the gas temperature at the evaporator coil outlet. The goal of the block type thermostatic valve is to achieve low pressure and maintain the difference between the inlet and outlet temperatures of the evaporator coil at levels safe for the compressor and effective for the system. It's important to remember that the difference between the inlet and outlet temperatures of the evaporator is called superheat, and many valves are factory set to maintain a superheat of around 5 degrees Celsius. For example, on a summer day, when the refrigerant temperature at the evaporator outlet rises, it indicates high superheat and the need for more refrigerant in the evaporator, so the block valve allows more refrigerant gas flow to the evaporator. On a cooler day, if the refrigerant temperature at the evaporator outlet is low, superheat decreases, suggesting less refrigerant is needed. In this case, the block valve reduces the gas flow. Symptoms of a faulty block expansion valve 1. Intermittent or insufficient cooling A defective valve can become stuck in open or closed positions, causing inconsistent cooling in the cabin, especially during long trips or temperature changes. 2. Abnormal pressures A blocked or partially closed valve can lead to low pressure on the low side, and high pressure on the high side, reducing system efficiency and increasing the risk of compressor damage. 3. Frost on the evaporator. When the valve allows too much flow, the evaporator cools excessively, accumulating frost or ice, which blocks the air outlets and reduces system efficiency. 4. Unusual noises. If the valve is partially open, the irregular refrigerant flow can cause noises like whistling or knocking within the system. 5. Compressor cycling. Incorrect refrigerant flow can cause the compressor to turn on and off repeatedly, short cycling, which reduces performance and may lead to premature compressor failure.